Hi there guys, this is Miss Liz with Jefferson Patterson Park and Museum here to do another virtual story time. So right now, this month is June and June is National Black Bear Month. So I thought it would be fun if we talked a little bit about black bears. I love black bears. I grew up in Pennsylvania where we have a lot of them. I grew up with them always in our backyard. They would come in and they would steal bird seed out of our bird feeder. In fact, so growing up we had a bird feeder that was just a metal pole with the bird feeder on it, right? And the black bear would come into our yard and he would bend the pole over and get out all the bird seed. And then my dad would straighten the pole back up and fill it up again. And another week would go by and he'd come back and he'd bend it back over. And so one morning, my mom and I got up and we pushed back the curtains in our living room and we saw that black bear. And he was coming through, he had his eye on that bird feeder, he wanted that bird seed. And my mom opened up the window and she yelled out, hey, get away from my bird feeder. And that silly black bear, he jumped up all four paws off the ground and then ran out of our yard. But then when he got to the edge of our yard, he just kind of slowed back down and made his way further out the yard because black bears are hungry animals. They love to eat. So today we are going to read a story about a very hungry black bear who goes on an adventure. The Bear Ate Your Sandwich by Julia Sarcone Roach. By now I think you know what happened to your sandwich, but you may not know how it happened. So let me tell you, it all started with the bear. The morning air was warm and bright when the bear stepped out of his den. He stretched and sniffed. The scent of ripe berries drifted toward him and led to a wonderful discovery. After a berry feast, the bear curled up in the sunlight and listened to the buzzing of the bees. So before long, he was asleep. By the time the bear opened his eyes, the buzzing had become a rumbling. He was being quickly swept along like a leaf in a great river. The forest disappeared in the distance and high cliffs rose up around him. Once the rumbling stopped, the bear found himself in a new forest. It was like nothing he'd seen before. This forest had great climbing spots. The trees were still itchy here. There was good bark for scratching and the mud squished nicely. But some of the tastiest ones had already been found. Leafy green smells led the bear to new fun. And that is when he saw it. There it was, your beautiful and delicious sandwich all alone. He waited to make sure no one saw him, not even the sandwich, before he made his move. It was such a great sandwich! The bear loved it. But just as he was almost finished, he heard sniff, snuffle, slobber, snort behind him. He had been seen! The bear was so surprised that he ran out of the park and down the street until he spotted a very tall tree. From at the top of the tree, the bear could see his forest. It was time to go home. The waves rocked the bear and he began to doze. When he opened his eyes, he heard the breeze in the familiar branches and the birds and bugs evening song. Well, the bear made it home just fine. So that's what happened to your sandwich. The bear ate it. I saw it all. I tried to save your sandwich. I was able to save this little bit of lettuce here. The bear dropped it as he ran off, but I couldn't save the rest. I'm sorry to have to tell you about your sandwich this way. But now you know. Ruff, 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 ruff. The end. All right guys, now to finish up our story time today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a bear mask so you can pretend to be your own hungry bear and go on an adventure, just using a few simple supplies. 
So we're gonna start off with a paper plate. If you don't have any paper plates at home, you can simply use a plate to trace out a circle on some paper. Now, you wanna fold that in half, and we're gonna cut down the center. Now, you might notice that this paper plate has all these holes around the edge. You don't need holes around the edge of yours. We were going to use this plate for a different craft and we are recycling today. Just cut it straight down the middle. And this is going to be half of our bear mask. Now, on our other half of our paper, we need to cut out the eyes and the ears. So, the best way to make a circle is to find something that has a circle and use it as a trace. That is a Miss Liz tip. So I'm just gonna trace these around. And these are gonna be his ears. And then I've got a smaller one. I've got my glue stick here, which is gonna be his eyes. All right, and then I'm gonna cut these out. All right, now our next step is that we need to start coloring. So you can color however you want. I'm gonna color my bear brown today and I'm gonna use crayons, but you could use markers if you want. You could even go in and paint your bear if you want, but I am going to color him. All right guys, I have finished coloring my pieces, so now we're gonna pull it all together and make our mask. All right, so first I'm going to glue on his eyes. Put it right about there, looks good. And now I'm gonna grab my black crayon again and I'm gonna give him a nose. You could also cut out a nose for him if you want to do that. He's your bear, he can look however you want. You can make him even a purple bear or a green bear. All right, so there he's got his nose. Now we need to put his ears on and these are gonna go behind his head and they're gonna peek out a little bit. I'm gonna flip that over. And put the glue on the bottom of the ear. And just check to make sure I've got it lined up where I want the ear to sit. We might need to switch to using the liquid glue for this part. There we go. Just press down a little more. All right. Oh. Sometimes stick glue doesn't like to stick to things that you've colored, so you need to use liquid glue if you've got it. That's gonna hold much better. All right, now there we've got our bear mask. Now there are a couple of things you could do. You could glue on a stick, whether a tongue depressor like this or a dowel rod that you could use to help hold it. You could also punch holes on the side and you could get string or shoelaces uh, and tie it around, that way you could tie it on your face. But now you can make your own bear masks and go out and have adventures.